Okay, you are fanatics. Thanks for tuning in again to Bermuda Grass Central. Hey guys, make sure you hit that subscription button, all right? Every time BYD uploads a video, guess what? You'll be notified by YouTube, all right? So make sure you hit that subscription button right now. Guys, listen, this video, real simple video. It's gonna be quick, all right? A couple of weeks ago, BYD Jr. was cut. Actually, me and BYD Jr., we were cutting the grass and I timed it with the um, weather app and was actually went down, we applied some pre-emergent to the lawn. I was trying to get it down because we were having a light rainstorm to come through. At the same time, while we were cutting, I finished the front, applied my part. BYD Jr. was almost through with the back and I was still, I applied part of it while he was doing that. But at the same time, all that debris from the lawnmower was getting on top of the lawnmower while it was raining on the lawnmower and we got a messy mower. So some of you guys get messy mowers and you wanna know how to clean them. This video will show you just how to do that. Okay, you are for next. Look, this mower, is, look at it, look at it. Look how messy it is. That's dried grass right there, all right? And it's all the way around front. You see that, sides. And then let's see what it looks like under the bottom. Okay, you are for next, and that's up on the bottom. A lot of that stuff dried up under, up under there. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and wash this off. Guys, it's, it's real simple. You can use a couple of products. You can use the same product you use to wash your car, or you can use like Simple Green or something like that. Let me show you. Okay, guys, and here are the products right here. You know, that one has like made by Turtle Wax right there, Max Power Car Wash or Simple Green. Guys, this video is non-sponsored. And the reason I like showing you these things is because this is what the average homeowner, ho average homeowner, homeowner needs these products to get their stuff nice and clean. Now, I will be using that Simpson pressure washer that you saw that I had in a uh, recent video. If not, click on the link above and you can watch that video. But let's go ahead. Okay, you are for next. Look, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and blow off some of this debris real quick. All right, now we're going to go ahead and pressure wash it. Um... Guys, if you want to pre-soak it, that's fine, but I'm using a pressure washer, so it's not going to make too big of a difference, but yeah, let's go ahead and pre-soak it.
Okay guys, now we're gonna go ahead and take my backpack blower and blow it off. Remember, you don't have to use a blower, you can let it air dry, but blowing it off any electrical components that may get some moisture in it, you can help try to get it out with that. This is a newer mower, so I don't have those issues that you're gonna have with an older mower. Bear that in mind, you should know your lawnmower. You should know if you tilt it to the side and the gas tank is on the other side, the gas may spew out or if the, the, the uh, carburetor is on the other side. All my stuff is on this side, that's why I tilted it to the other side. So I don't have oil leaking back into the um, air filter or any other component like that. This is pretty new or more, um, all wheel drive, don't have an issue with it. So let's blow it off, dry it off. Okay, now that I got it blown off, let me make sure to still crank up, guys. Okay, y'all fanatics, look. Maybe a little windy, sorry for that. Always an issue. That's what I'm putting on now. You can use anything you want to. I spray this on metal, plastic. All I want is just to get that shine, but I, this is not so thick that it'll come up, all right? Spray it on there. <clears throat> like I said, we're not trying to get it perfectly new looking but you always want to clean your mower you know it's 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 often i mean it's not something i would do every freaking time i cut my grass but maybe i don't know halfway through the season you come <clears throat> you clean it off you know you never know who might pop up so you know you want to keep the mowers and stuff looking somewhat new and this this goes for the commercial guys also this is just this is not just a homeowner thing. This is a practice that should be done by everybody. You know, this is how you keep a moor for 10, 15 years. You just don't run it in the ground and uh, you don't clean it. You know, it's, it's, it's just like you. When you take a bath, you know, don't you feel better about yourself? You know, same way with your moor. Your moor feels better about cutting your grass. Get a, you know, you clean it up every now and then, you know. And like I said, this stuff, you know, good for detailing your car after you wax it. But, you know, and guys, you can clean, clean your more as, as, as much as you want. You know, you can actually get some car noodle wax and uh, apply it on there, let it sit, follow directions. And um, that stuff will work. Now, you guys who have this right here, if you're using a water hose to do this, to to spray off your mower and wash it that's fine and then screw the water hose in here make sure that's tight turn it on then cut your mower on and the blade's supposed to knock all that loose debris off there that's fine also all right um, i don't use it because i don't really have a reason to um, when i do it like this uh, but that is you know another added feature that's that's awesome you know so like I said, that's something you just spray on there and uh, I'll come around to the other side. <clears throat> yeah, and like I said, guys, I'm not trying to make it brand new, but uh, it helps. You know, I, 
life for my neighbors to come by and keep thinking I'm buying new lawnmowers every year. <laughs> uh, Cause they, they know I got a YouTube channel and they'll be like, it's guys buying new mowers every freaking year, man. And that's, that's not the case. Um, what I do is I clean, I clean, you know, it's cleaning off real good. And um, let's see how it looks. Okay, yard fanatics. Now look, I, I got it clean, and you can see I brought that that fire engine red back. Look at it. <laughs> we. She is looking good. She is looking good. You know, and you you'll feel a whole lot better when you cut for more. It's clean. You know, and then later on, I'll do another video showing you how to check the air filter, spark plugs, um, how to change the uh, blade on it. Matter of fact, there should be a link right above and showing you how to change that blade. Uh, but guys, yeah, this is something that you need to do often. Uh, and when I say often, I don't mean five, six times a year, maybe a couple of times a year. Clean that more off. If you got a pressure washer, the better off you'll be. If you don't, a water hose will work just fine. Um, if, your, if yours have that, that function, you see it down there with the little blue screw in, that's fine, use that. Uh, and you'll get many years out of your lawnmower. Or you'll have neighbors ask you, do you buy a lawnmower every year? Okay, Yara Fanatic, so if this is something that you would do, comment below, let me know if you, if you do this, and if you don't, why don't you do it, all right? So guys, remember one thing, you know what that is. You are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>